track for the test of the Rick Crawford Racing Intake and Ported Throttle Body. This is coming from the fast intake we had last week. So we've got some good time slips from that. We're going to compare today, of course, taking DA into account. No other changes have been made to the car. And I got the fam with me today. By the way, there's this car beside there's this car beside me that says naked lady. But it's okay, we're all gonna talk about that. Alright, just got back to the shop. It was real busy at the track and it's my first day using this new camera I got for my birthday today. And uh, battery died. So anyways, the second pass went much better. I was able to leave full throttle, got a 14460, which is almost my best and the uh, eighth mile improved from my previous best by 0 0.09 tenths or almost a tenth. 
um, and or not 900s and my mile an hour went up by almost one half mile an hour and like I said unfortunately I only got one pass so I wasn't able to back it up but I believe that we did see some gains with the RCR intake and it is a ported and rotted one and I do have a ported stock throttle body on there as well as opposed to the 102 and the stock fast with the long runners that I had so it looks like this is the best combo for it at least for now and I'm gonna leave it as such it did feel like it was pulling a little harder at the top of the shifts could have been in my head but I think that it's gonna be this way for a while and at least we should be able to run the nitrous setup if we go back to nitrous uh, with this one as the fast uh, 102 just didn't have the room in between the throttle body and the intake without pushing the throttle body into the air intake filter so anyways we're gonna load it now and I'll try to get this up here soon so everybody can see it and see the results and go from there. Appreciate it.